Live look now from San Francisco where a project aimed at speeding up bus service has been slowing down drivers for years. Tonight, KPIX 5's Betty Yu found out what's going on with the city's first bus rapid transit system. Betty. Julia, the Van Ness project was supposed to be completed in 2019, and now that date's been moved to 2022. A new report found that many of these delays could have been avoided. After breaking ground in 2016, construction was supposed to be completed in three years, but it's taken five and counting. The project is also $37 million over budget. Village Pizzeria says it's not sure how much longer it can face roadblocks and hang on. I might have to close down too. Because if you keep like this, I might have to close too. The goal of the project is to add rapid bus lanes and modernize aging underground infrastructure. A new civil grand jury report found that many of the setbacks were foreseeable and avoidable. Among the findings, missteps were made during planning and design phases, which created unrealistic timelines. The failure to predict the cost and duration accurately and contracting procedures did not instill accountability. The report found that the delayed completion dates have damaged the public's confidence in SFMTA to keep its promises. In a statement, the agency responded in part, it raises certain issues identified in prior internal audits, and we are actively working on incorporating lessons learned from those issues into successful projects throughout the city. The SFMTA has resolved a multiple contractor claims relating to the issues in the report, including several where the contractor acknowledged its shortcomings. For residents and pandemic-stricken small businesses along the two-mile stretch. All the business around here is closed. You know, we used to do a lot of deliveries for downtown. We lost all the business and uh, it was what happened. But I don't think it's going to be any better soon. You know, Betty, going forward, what's the plan to avoid even more problems? Well, the report gave several recommendations to the SFMTA to improve all parts of the process, including, for example, selecting a contractor. The agency says that it will take the findings into consideration and incorporate them into current and future work across the city. Jules? All right, Betty, thank you.